today I'm at Paw Paw Park, another golf course turned nature park. This 172 acre park contains restored wetlands and floodplains, which helps improve water quality, especially flowing into Makatawa River and Nordalos Creek. Additionally, Paw Paw Park has a three mile trail loop featuring bridges, boardwalks, and overlooked decks. With so much to see, let's get started. And here's an unusual start. Today's tom tree right at the beginning. And it's not an oak and it's not a maple. It's a weeping willow, backlit and alive and doing quite well. And it's gonna show up really well in infrared. So think about your lighting. It doesn't always have to be directly on the subject of interest. You can use backlight to give it a glow sometimes much more impactful. But then look at its neighbors, and the variety of different trees in this area. And this is from being a former golf course. That there's a mix and now the rewilding process has begun. You see that in the grass is growing tall, less manicure looking space. Also part of its golf heritage is now transitioned to Frisbee golf. As this park transitions to more of a public park, can use those quiet little scenes to capture what this park is moving towards. With the water's so calm, you can get some good reflection shots. And that way you can fill your frame with the water in the trees and include the sky. detail shots, milkweed blossoms, right at a good time. There's also new life emerging in other ways. talking about taking detailed shots of your place that you're visiting. And here's another good one, the tall grasses. And I can get detailed shots of top part of the grasses. And already looking through the viewfinder of my infrared camera, I can see that the greens will be changed to blue. And then the seeds at the top will be a tan. So already that gives me a different look for this environment, but it also captures that rewilding process that I keep talking about with nature parks. covered bridges that you may traverse while walking through the park. Again, I probably won't take pictures of it because it's man-made, but I may take some pictures of this dead tree. My 
remember how I talk about coming out first thing in the morning or the evening. Look at that morning light hitting this creek. The warm colors to it, the soft highlights. That's what I look for. Something about being at a former golf course that's in the process of being rewilded that's just all the more stunning in its raw state. This is my third one now, and there's just something about the openness of the parks, which draws on their former golf course nature, but that blend of what it used to be with moving towards something else has its own unique qualities. So it's not just a walk through the woods or the forest. That openness allows you to see more. By doing so, you experience more as well. I've headed into the wetland conservation easement. And already you can see a difference. As I headed into this easement, you'll notice that my pathway shot had telephone poles in the background, and I'm not a huge fan. So, by traveling along this path, I finally come to an area that doesn't show them anymore. But it's kind of an ominous looking path up ahead. We'll see where it goes. Thankfully, Paw Paw Park has signs and maps so I know where I am and can find my way back. Keep an eye out for those. Here's a good opportunity to take some more detailed shots, especially of these grasses leaning over. They're highlighted, but their shadow is creating a dark background for them to stand out on. And then it also shows off the path ahead. Some nice contrast right here. I find trees like this interesting to photograph because of the distinct differences and contrasts. So you have dead limbs, but then you also have some new growth on there. So it's just this wild mix of barrenness and life and broken edges. And I can use that to fill the frame because again today there's no clouds in the sky, so I need something else to occupy that space. on another bridge and the scene over here caught my eye. Now again, no clouds in the sky, that would have added a lot, but I can work without that. You notice way far to the left there is the top of a water tower. So I'm going to crop that out of my image and I'm using the waterway as my path flowing through, going off to the left and the top. And then you have the angle of the trees working as a diagonal as well. 
So I'm using the stillness of the water as a reflection to capture the tops of the trees. And that will also add to my composition to fill the frame. Here's some more cropping ideas. So the path goes forward, curves around. I'm sure it's gonna go between these trees, but to make it look like there's no path there and that it's just raw nature, I'm taking the picture from here. So the tall grasses cover the path and then those trees in a clump help fill the frame. And I even have the tree in the background filling in that arch of the branches in the foreground. And having progressed along the path, I can do the same thing here too. Just have the grasses in the front, and the trees in the background or middle ground, and that fills my frame. And it also looks like I'm out in meadow somewhere or a field untouched by human hands for a long time. We're back to a little strip of the waterway. I have the sun blocked a little bit on my right by the big tree but it's highlighting the grasses. You see that in mid-ground to the right, that clump that's just kind of hanging over the water there. And then you've got that winding nature of this little creek and all the trees that line it. What I like about this is the variety of values. You've got some shadows, you've got some highlights, you've got some grass is in the foreground way up close to me, but I'm going to focus more on this area here. Here's that backlit concept again, only with a different tree. You'll notice the clump of growth in the crook of the tree as well. Great sense of openness in this park. A little reluctant to leave it, if I'm honest. One last image right here, and you'll notice there's condos in the background. I'll probably edit those out, most likely, by adding more trees. information about Paw Paw Park and other parks in Ottawa County, check out miottawa.org. Thanks for exploring with me. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it and learned something new. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel and getting notified when a new video posts. And I hope to see you out on the trails.